Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the ninth video of Windows Over to, uh, 2012 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure print server on Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2. So let's have some uh, idea about my demo environment. So in this my demo environment I am using four virtual machines to give you the demo of printer print server installation. So the first one is Win2K12 r to dc01 which is my active directory domain server if you want to check and verify here is my server win2k12 r to dc01 i have installed active directory dns and the acp role on this server so this is the basically my active directory domain server or uh, domain controller you can say and the second server is uh, win2k12 r to srv01 which is the fresh machine installed I have just installed a Windows Server 2012 R2 operating system and this machine and I have configured like rename this machine uh, I configure the IP address and this is just join this machine in domain so this is the fresh machine no installation done no roles no feature nothing is installed on this machine for now and I have two or uh, two client machine wins uh, win7 uh, cl01 and win7 uh, win8 cl01 which is uh, you can say the client machine windows 8 and windows 7 so these both machines are joined in my domain if you want to verify you can like verify from here properties the machine is joined in my domain and if you want to check out just go and type domain name infosol.com hit enter here we are so machine in under the domain and same with the windows 7 client machine this machine is also in my domain so this is all about the infrastructure which i have in my domain so let's move and do the step by step installation of print server on windows over 2012 so the first step is we need to install print server role from server manager so i am going on my uh, to install this role on my win 2 12 r2 srv01 going to click on manage add role and features maximize it click role based or feature based installation click next and here is my server and click next and now go and select the print server print and document server and add features click next it will ask you roles no need to install features click next next and here we are we need to select only print server as I'm going to uh, define like this server as a print server so click next and install so you can see starting installation and it will start the installation it will take uh, two or three minutes uh, to get the installation done for print server management on the server and then we can launch the print server management console to like add add printer create printer add driver these things so just wait for the installation get finished for our print server and print and document services here you can see installation is started on server name So the installation success, installation is complete, we can click on close and now you can see print services are installed on the server. Go to tools and launch the uh, launch the print management. So it will open the print management console for us. And here we are, you can see the click on print server. Here we have, we have our print server local which is local and you can see whatever printer is installed on print this server it will automatically add it to printers so we have microsoft xps document writer is installed on this server so it is here and the port which are configured right now is also here and the forms like the page size and these things envelope like every f everything like you can say the A4 size, A3 size the, these are uh, uh, known as a form and the drivers 
which is uh, included in uh, like installed in this painter right now so for now we can go to next a uh, next step which is install new printer on print management and share the printer so uh, f the first thing i'm i'm going to download the uh, download and install the driver for printer so uh, right click on drivers add driver and you can browse the uh, uh, f uh, this printer is uh, like uh, x64 bit so i am going to this server is x64 bit so i am going to select x64 bit and my both client machine is also x64 bit you can see so i am going to install only x64 bit like uh, we are i am going to install hp printer you can say like uh, hp color z 2600 and classic driver so click next and click on finish so it will install the uh, driver here you can see the hp color z uh, uh, 2600 and driver is installed and the uh, version and everything is here so now i am going to add the printer in my print server so going to right click on printer add printer and you can do one thing you can search the printer if you have a printer on network also you can like uh, add a TCP IP or web service port if you have a, uh, uh, like you can uh, uh, type the web service printer web service secure printer auto detect auto detect detect means if you type the IP address of the printer like like anything it will detect the printer and make and model everything it will show you the uh, uh, respective driver respective if the if your server have a respective driver so these all details and so i'm going to install right now the printer as a local printer so a local port so we have to select the other option just wait to print management to respond so add printer and i'm going to use like local port lpt1 for example and we have option to install a new printer and it will ask you the printer uh, path and driver etc or uh, i'm going to use my existing driver which we have earlier installed hp color z2600 and classic driver and click next and then it, it will show you the printer name and i'm going to type an hp printer 01 and i'm going to use the same name as a share name and if just click on finish so you can see the printer is installed here successfully and if you go and see on like you can say the in the device uh, sorry device man is not in device manager uh, devices and printers you are able to see the printer here HP and of course this printer is shared you can go to properties and you can see the sharing name this printer is shared list in directory so it will uh, uh, it will like uh, uh, available in your active active environment as well as use a scan scan for the printer and the port you can define a new port if like if you want to define a static ip address with printer you can define from here you can type the printer name or ip address the port number these details so these are the basic options and you can la change later on the driver as well as if you want so close it and the next thing install share printer on client machine so I'm going on my client machine and what I'm going to do I'm going to browse my server path which is win2k12 srv01 victorinfusol.com and you are able to see the printer is installed now uh, and it is shared just right click on printer and try to connect it so that will you can see connecting to uh, HP on the server name so it will available once the uh, uh, connection is done it will available in, uh, available in your uh, devices so just go to control panel you 
you can see the printer is installed all installation is complete if we go to devices and printers you can see the printer is installed H HP hyphen printer 01 on the server name same I am going to do on my second machine which is my Windows 7 client machine and going to add the printer right click connect so you can see looking for a driver downloading the driver and finishing the installation So the installation is finished for the driver and if you go to device and printers you are able to see the printer here here it is so it seems everything is working fine and the last is to verify printer is installed and working fine so as I as I uh, earlier done the printer is installed and if you want to check the print go to here properties test page you, you can make a test page if the printer is available on the network it will print out the page so these are the auditors and if you open like any document if you have you can go to print and it will give you the printer name here so these are the all details about the installation and configuration of the print server so Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any suggestion, any query, or related to this video or any another video, you can write me a mail on my given mail IDs. And thank you once again for watching. Please subscribe me. Bye bye.